All right, crew, we are back. Uh, I've been running my Spiritus Systems uh, Mark IV that I bought off Brownells uh, for quite some time now uh, when I'm out at the range. Um, but I've also acquired their other placards, their Mark V as well as their 556 placards. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what, sh what each one offers uh, as far as fitting your needs. So, so the Mark IV, extremely popular out there on the market. Um, you do have obviously your two tiered setup here. So in the back, um, you do have, you know, your hook and loop to be able to insert the different inserts that Spiritus offers. Uh, in this case, I do have their 556 five, uh, insert in there. Uh, on the front here, I have the Axle Designs uh, zip pouch here. Like this a little bit more than the the flap. Um, the other thing, uh, and then I do have the, the pistol inserts in here, and each one of those is just an elastic insert. If you're unfamiliar with Spiritus, uh, elastic insert that goes in there and ultimately, actually, let me, you can see here on the, the Mark V here. So this just goes right in there, whereas some are obviously form fit to that size. Um, Spiritus sells, they're modular, so they do offer different ones uh, as well as a pistol caliper or a uh, 762 um, for 308 as well so a very modular setup one thing with the mark IV, uh, you are able to run if you'd like a tourniquet on the bottom here i typically run a full uh, dangler which is compatible with all of those systems with my tourniquet on the bottom and all of my medical supplies within um, that obviously as well is going to be a a hook and loop setup to be able to mount right on the back of the placard um, but on here you're gonna notice you can do the tourniquet here you don't have any capability of mounting anything on the sides here um, obviously you can utilize your loops here and hook in now I've got a little loop here. I use hanging chem lights off of that for a while. Uh, you probably saw I currently do have them in here as well as uh, with a multi-tool in case I do need a multi-tool while I'm out at the range. Um, but I've shifted to mounting my chem lights off of my belt um, for when I do go out at night. So <clears throat> that is going to be your, your Mark IV setup. This obviously I do have set up on my... Um, my spirit of system fat strap at the moment i do have their mark uh what is it, the mark five fat strap as well um haven't run around with that one too much uh but just been running around with the the standard setup here and let, that will bring us to what does the the mark five placard offer it's a different setup here guys we're gonna have as you saw when I gave you kind of a glimpse earlier, you are gonna have uh, just a single single area for an insert. So it's not two tiered, um, which means you aren't gonna have any options for you know mounting your, or putting your multi-tool or chem lights like I had in there or other general purpose things. However, and I haven't set this up yet, but you are able to utilize the side here. It does have molly webbing, so you are able to mount you know, um, tourniquets on the side here. You can mount any form of, you know, smaller pouch. I think some of the, the flashbang pouches might actually even mount on the side. I haven't got into any of that stuff. Um, I do have my tourniquet across the bottom again, kind of victim of habit, but I am thinking about mounting, side mounting and having the two across the sides. Uh, and that is on either side, so very, uh, more sleek design. The front here, as you can tell, does have um, just hook and loop, so you are able to mount pouches on there. It is molly webbed as well. So in the future, I'm looking at the the Spiritus, um, what is it, the CCS pouch? Um, that's gonna be more of a general purpose pouch that mounts off of the front of this. Right now, this is just a, a cheapo Amazon um, pouch that I, I found that was a uh, hook and was able to mount that right onto the loop there. Um, I actually found uh, Drew from Dirty Civilian was 
he had one of these on his and I asked him, I was like, where'd you get that? And he, he said it was just some cheapo Amazon one. And I, I looked it up and um, it served its purpose right now, but I am eyeing doing the other Spiritus pouch off of the front there to give a little bit more uh, volume of storage as well as just, I mean, it's modular. So you are able to pull that on and off depending on what you're doing. So pretty, pretty sweet, gives a lot more options. The other thing here, you do have the capability of running elastic over your mags uh, with these little uh, cutouts there which is another great little add-on to the mark 5 uh, placard starting to see these everywhere a lot of guys are running them so but yeah just uh, another great design from Spiritus but let's go ahead and I'll set this one off to the this side here actually I'll set that right there and that brings us to their third offering uh, the 556 placard this one is just straight elastic you can see you get the divides between each mag um, you don't have any holes on the side for tourniquets no holes on the the bottom for tourniquets um, this is just a very slick uh, design so if you're looking for kind of a more slick setup for your 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 plate carrier your your chest rig um, this is going to be the slickest you're going to find out there this is going to allow you to go slick or be a little bit more modular and and do the add-ons like i said they're running pouches off of the front running your your tourniquets on the side or the bottom um pretty good offering there from the the uh, mark 5 uh, placard so i do really like this one i've had that one uh, on my plate carrier for a bit this one I'm gonna go ahead and throw on here shortly. I'm actually working on a whole nother um, build out at the moment, which I will probably show you guys in the, the near future. Um, but yeah, that is what we have for the, the Spiritus offerings. Pretty wide uh, variety and very versatile. Obviously this is gonna be your, your very basic slick setup. A little bit more offering here with all of the extra mounting points and then I would call it a crowd favorite, the old uh, Mark IV. Uh, the two-tiered system really, I'm a huge fan of this, um, but for when, when I was doing a class and going pro and I, I did notice, you know, it's a, it's a little chunky, uh, which is what piqued my interest in the Mark V and got me looking at some of the slicker setups of theirs. Um, but uh, definitely a huge fan of the Mark IV. You cannot go wrong there, um, but if you are looking uh, at, a, at a slicker setup definitely suggest checking out the mark 5 um, and if you don't need all that modularity right to the uh, the the gold um, 556 placard but Spiritus definitely knocked it out of the system or knocked it out of the uh, the ballpark again um, with their setups uh, the modularity is just awesome and being able to to shift from running you know 556 mags in these or shifting to a um, insert for a pistol carbine or the the 308 um, very great that you can keep the same placard and and you're able to to do that so but that's all i got for you guys today run suppressed stay blessed